I've yeah. never seen your swing. I want to see it first. I, I heard you've never had a lesson, which is kind of rare in today's game because like instruction is so available. So this is going to be fun today. I love working with people that have never had a lesson. Let's see the move. And you said you're a 15 handicap, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hit a couple and let's, let's get warmed up. All right. I mean, dude, I gotta watch it again. Like, <laughs> that was almost a perfect, like that was beautiful. Whoa, did you say perfect? No, not perfect, there's no such thing, but that was beautiful. What? Dude, how do you give me this, how do you give me this guy as a lesson? I mean, it's the last guy that needs a lesson. Holy moly. See, do you normally play a draw like that? Do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, even that is your miss and that was dead straight. So let's talk about some positives before we give you a lesson. Let's okay. let's talk about what you do well. And you do yeah. a lot of things really well in your golf swing. First off, what I love is you're hitting the inside of the ball. So that means you're basically on your backswing, you take the club down the line and you reroute it slightly under the plane. So you're hitting that push draw, basically. Mm. You're not swiping across it, which is what 90% of golfers that I give lessons to, they're all hitting the outside of the ball, hitting on deflecting angle, mm -hmm. and you're coming from the inside and flushing it. Mm. And that's why you're hitting that nice tight draw on you. That's, I mean, yardage wise, you're not gonna get much more out of it. The only thing that I could see that you could do is make a bigger turn and backswing, which you have a very short backswing right now. I mean, wow. Look, taking it right here, first parallel. Dude, that is money. Could not be in a better position. Honestly, okay. I mean, club head slightly outside your hands. The angle of the face is matching your spine. Now when you go up to the top, you've only basically made a three quarter golf swing. And that's like a John Rahm position. You don't necessarily need to change this. The only thing I'd say is when you're coming down, you're super closed off at impact. Right here, your body. I'd like to see you get more open. What do you mean by that? So basically you're super closed off and there's tons of face rotation. What I ultimately would like to see is the body and the hips slightly more open at impact. Cause you're basically, you're here and you're sideways to the ball and the club's releasing, which you're timing it up perfect. Now let's hit a couple more. Dude. I mean, I just love that swing. Your, your transition and tempo is so money because what you do really well you gather everything and then you explode. So it's like, you don't rush it from the top. And I like that short back swing. I mean, <laughs> dude, it's hard. Like this video, I'm serious guys. It's like, it's tough. Like I would not really mess with a lot of stuff. Cause I do really like your move. Where is your biggest struggle? I really want to like, is it your, I mean, is it your short game? I'd probably say, I mean, it's definitely short game. My chipping's pretty good, putting's not great. Where I like struggle just like on fairways is anything like over 200 yards. Okay. Yeah, that, that's when I really start so to spray it on the, long, on the long irons, yeah. Gotcha, okay. So let's hit like one more of these and then we're gonna start hitting some longer club. Okay. Because I think what hap what's gonna happen, what I can already see, so you're super shallow and closed off to the ball and when you get up to a longer club, I would probably say you hit behind it and you hit it low. Yeah, and that's, which I, I, that's pretty accurate. Just from accurate, like yeah. watching your move right now, you're super under the plane. You're probably gonna hit a lot, a little bit behind a lot of the, like, the longer clubs. So let's see a couple more. Cool. You can get away with it with an eight iron, but once you get up to like a four iron, then it starts to really show everything. <laughs> what? He striped every single shot. I mean, like a two yard draw. I, I'm not gonna That's sit- That's not super common. I'm not gonna that. sit yeah. here to ever critique that. Let's move up to- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, move, let's move on. Let's move clubs that you say you struggle with. Like, All right, we got a five iron yeah. now. Five iron. Let's hit a couple of these. Okay. Where are we aimed? Let's make sure we are aimed properly. So let's, okay. let's have a target in mind this whole okay. lesson. I wanna go towards that green. Towards so, the green just over the bunker there? Yep. Okay. That green flag out there. Now when you use these, you're always gonna be slightly parallel left of the target. And what do you mean by that? So if there was two sticks, if we had another stick, you'd see. Actually, I think you have one right here. I do, yeah. 15 handicap with two alignment sticks. Right, that's awesome. No, I mean, dude, most people don't carry these alignment sticks in their back. Now this is more at the target, this this stick here, and this one's more your feet line. Oh, got it, okay. So here we go, so, it, so that's about perfect. So that's gonna be your feet. You can hit it on that side of the sticks. Absolutely perfect. So now we're dialed in at the green, parallel 
to that. Yeah, let's hit a couple fly irons here. Really struggling with that club, aren't you, man? It's a bit of a pull. <laughs> Path was perfect. You pulled it about 15 yards, but a five iron, that's amazing. So. Kevin, what's your best round ever? How are you? How are you a 15 uh, handicap? So in my like in my home course, my best round is a 82. Yeah. So like I'm just like struggling to break 80. That's crazy. We need to go out on the course and do a plane lesson. This is not where we should be. It's, it's a long walk from the range to the course. I like that. I've never heard that before. It's a long <laughs> walk from the range to the course. All right. So we are out here now on the course. We're gonna play one hole. So obviously you said your your lowest score is an 82. Now there could be a lot of reasons that's your lowest score. It could be just course management, not even your golf swing. That, that could not even be the issue because yeah. the way you hit it on the range was unreal. Um, so when you get over the shot, how do you align to your target? Like what are you doing in your, your head? So hit? typically I like stand back on it and like okay. I'll pick where in the fairway that I want it to land. Gotcha. I'll pick something that's like five or six paces off, like a little spot in the grass. Okay. And then that'll be my line that I'm trying to take. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Hit it off the grandstand. No, that was fine. You aim pretty good. You're a little closed off. Let's hit one more. I think he gets a little bit underneath the shot. You're closing off your body right now. You're aiming a little bit too far right right now. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's aim, let's aim a little bit more left. There we go. Perfect. Nice. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that was just like an aim issue. That was a little bit of an aim issue. The okay. first one, your body, so you had your right foot closed off, which you mean, which means basically you had this right foot drop back here, which set your alignment out to the right, which is fine. You can swing out to the right with a closed face and it'll draw back, but you just kind of went under it with an open face. So. Got it, okay. We're playing the second one here. How far do you have to the pin? Let's see, 96 yards into this pin. 96 yards, okay. So what's that for you? Uh, that'll probably be a bit of a knockdown 52. It's good to do. Weird, okay, perfect. Weird yardage. I like that. Me. Yeah. I like that. If you would have said it was a full swing 58 or 56, I was about to say, you're putting that away. Yeah. Hey, JoJo. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing about my lesson with Grant was? What? It was free. But you know what's not free? Making this video. So today's sponsor is Viore. Viore is a new perspective in performance apparel. Let me tell you how versatile uh, Viore is. And let me tell you a little bit about how versatile Viore is. Viore is super casual. I can wear it to the gym. It's nice enough to wear to dinner. I wear it on the course. Everything is designed to be worked out in, but it doesn't necessarily look or feel like it. They're comfier than pajamas. So today I have on this nice little polo. It's super breathable, super comfortable. Doesn't feel like I have a shirt on. <laughs> So any issues with the swing is all on me. We did a video with Grant, so I had to get the joggers. My favorite part about this is this little side pocket here. And right now they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Whoa, is it really 20%? Head over to viori.com slash RGC. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash RGC to get 20% off your first order. In addition to 20% off, you'll get free shipping on all US orders over $75. You're supposed to let me walk out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see a little knockdown 52. Let's see that. And so this is how I would typically attack it. What do you see from like Okay, so right now. Yeah. So right now. Don't move. Don't move. Come back here. That is where you're aimed. Wow. When we're aimed that far right, mm -hmm. which is how you kind of set up to those tee shots as well, you're aimed that far right. What's going to happen naturally is you're not gonna open up your body and rotate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stay closed and flip your hands to square the face. Yeah. Because the only way you're getting a wedge to go that far left is by really flipping your hands and yeah. staying closed off. That's the only way. Because if you were to rotate now and really turn, you're probably gonna hang it out to the right 80% of the time. So that's an alignment issue, which I see right off the bat. Let's come back. I would say the best way to align to a golf shot right here is gonna be picking out an intermediary target. So say this piece of grass right here. Say we're, we're looking at something, say, let's just say this. this. This little piece of grass, we have something that's just right of the pin. We can aim just right of it. Now when you come in, you're basically aligning 
your body and your face to that piece of grass. Okay. So now you set the club face, set your feet, look up, and now you should be trying to hit it over this, and now you should be on line. Make sure we're aligned over that. Perfect, set the club face, now set your body. Now you're still aimed a little right. Let's keep coming left a little more. There we go. Okay. Now we're aimed just right at the pin. Nice. Go. Right there. That's pretty solid. Yeah, stay up, stay up. All right. I mean, <laughs> solid divot, good swing, shallow, in to out. There's not much you, you're looking for in a wedge shot than that. I mean, nice dollar bill. Okay, so we came up short. Yeah. What would you say was the issue there? Was it not a big enough golf swing? Was it not the right club? It's not hitting a 96 yard shot. I like just probably oh. hit it a little, just a little short. Okay. So didn't swing hard enough. Yeah, I, I would feel like, I would say it just wasn't a big enough swing. Yeah. So you okay. kind of, you took a little bit too short of a swing. So we got 40 feet here. I'm not gonna say anything, but I wanna see how you would go about this. 40 foot putt here. I'd go about reading this. Now, what do you see here? Uh, I see an uphill putt. I see the high side of the green is over there. Okay. So, so it's like, going to break. It's going to break right to left, I think. Okay. Now, how much are we thinking? Question. Say maybe like four cups out, right? Yeah, I agree. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree for sure. Obviously, it, down. it was way more out to the right than that. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. putt needed I to be way out there. You left yourself with an uphill putt. What I would like to see is we start to use this line here on the ball. It's just something, I mean, everyone on tour does it. It's something that I would recommend to everyone. So let's get that line right edge. And now when you come in, what I want you to do with the, when you get over a putt mm -hmm. is to first set the putter. Look up and now set your feet. Okay, okay so your putter reaction. goes down first and then putter goes down first. You look, you're looking at your line and now set your feet. And from there, just make your normal putting stroke. Okay. It's okay. It's a yep. slight pull. Pull it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I would like to see your putter grip. I would like to see you wrap that right index finger. Um, oh, like more of like a iron shot or something. Yeah, exactly. Just like so, a regular club. And are you interlocking whenever you no, whenever you um, putt? No. So basically, I want to see a reverse overlap like that. Reverse overlap. So it's basically like this. That's yeah. we're doing a reverse overlap to there. Okay, great. Perfect. So that one, yeah. and then let reverse, this go on top. There, this this hand goes on yeah. top. There, money. Okay, that's great. a beautiful putter grip. Love it. Wrap that around with money. Ooh, that feels that felt yeah. strange on the take. A little, little outside. Yeah, yeah. You felt that mm -hmm. though. Yeah, without a doubt. Nice. Nice. That Can't make it. it up, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. There's a lot of little things like that that I would like to tinker with, but for never having a lesson, you're hitting the inside of the ball, you're hitting high draws on every shot, which sometimes can take a while for someone to get to. So but thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks. It. Thanks for the lesson, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I feel like this is every high handicapper's dream. Just have Grant hold that out on the hole and uh, just walking him through it. So I really appreciate you coming out. Appreciate yeah, you being on the channel. And uh, yeah, let's get 18 in sometime. I'll still never understand how your lowest score is 82. I don't get it. There's got to be something yeah. going on here. But <laughs> thanks, guys. I appreciate it.